I packed this for the first time today for going on the road. So I, I put some snacks in here, both for me and for my buddy who's on this walk. Hey, come here. You get to see here who we're talking about. There we go. Hey, Rosie. I brought some snacks for her and some water and also the same for me. And she's exploring, she's looking for Hey Rosie, where are the bunny rabbits? She loves looking for bunnies. She's never caught one, but she loves the challenge. Anyways, here you go. And this should give you an idea of the profile. Here we are out here. And um, I've been walking now for probably, oh, a good 20 minutes or so. And it's a hot day, but I'm not hot because of this pack. The pack's really easy to carry. And right now I've actually got a lot of stuff in it. Oh, here's another view of it. So for, as far as the name goes, this is the Tenba Fulton V2 14L all weather camera backpack. Hey Rosie, what do you think? Where do you want to go? Oh, she's looking for the bunnies. I asked her for the find the rabbits. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Hey, R Rosie, where's the bunnies? She's, she's doing her job. She just loves this pursuit. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Let's go this way, come on. Hey there. This is nice, love being outside. Um, report on the pack, light. I never use these clips here. I shouldn't say never, because I'm wearing it now. But they have these on a lot of backpacks. I feel like I should loosen it a little. And I don't use them, but a friend told me the other day that they um, distribute the weight so that whatever you're carrying, it's a sternum strap, it distributes some of the weight across the top so it's not all on your shoulders. So <laughs> I am uh, officially using this today. I actually think it does the trick. It maybe I feel like we've got about five pounds or so of weight up here and the other 10 or so are on the shoulders. But that's kind of nice. Wow. You want to know what's really tough? Camera, lens, microphone at the end of a stick. <laughs> That actually gets heavy. The actual um, backpack's light. But you know, these are good um, curls, good bicep, tricep exercises holding the camera out at the end of a stick. So backpack's real nice. As you can see, it kind of conforms to you. So it's not flopping around or slipping. It's, I'd say the nice thing about this pack is it kind of becomes part of you and that way you don't feel like you're carrying it. It's kind of nice. Ah, oh, there's a tree here with shade. <laughs> it really is. It is pretty hot out here. Okay, are we, do we want to sit here? I feel like we could find a better place over here. Let's go here. We've got to jog out in front of this runner. Come on, come on Rose. in the bright sunlight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sure, I could set my camera to change exposure when we go from light to dark, but why would I want to do that? <sighs> oh, this is nice. I'm walking under this bridge. Okay, here's a table, and this is going to be where we set up. Look who's there. All right, so I'm going to show you what's in this backpack, how I packed it. I've had this along on the walk for a good half hour, 45 minutes, and um, it's, it's pretty light. I think one of the nice things about this pack is that it's not too big, so even if you put a lot of stuff in it, it's still not going to be too heavy. So um, that's that's the blessing of this 14L, is it really does sort of fit your back, fits me well. I think the 16L would do the job just as well, 
but let me, without further ado, show you what I put in this bag, okay? First thing, I'm just going to take this off here. As you can see, it really is hot out here, as evidenced. <laughs> um, and here's the pack, okay? First of all, I just want to say, it has a great handle. This handle here is gives you the feeling of confidence that this is going to stay on the pack. Some handles, they feel a little bit like they're going to tear at the corners or something, but this one, even though this is fully loaded, easily feels like you can lift it by the handle, which is what the handle should be for. Okay, this pocket here is mesh, and this is where I put water. This pocket here is really good for a tripod. put a tripod in it when I went to my last uh, headshot photo shoot, but the feet or the foot of the tripod goes here, and then this here holds on to it. So it just goes like right here, your tripod. Um, I didn't need one today, so there's that. I'm gonna have some water right now, because I'm thirsty. Rosie's just over there, she's sort of exploring. She's in her happy place. To the person who suggested that I take this bag out into the field, out into the wild, and show you what it's like. Thank you. I feel like sometimes we need other people to give us a gentle push, a little nudge, like, hey, can you do this? And, and they said it in such a nice way. It wasn't a criticism that the other video was bad, it was just that it could be so much more, that you could really show this in the wild, in use, kind of like tell a story about it. and. I think that's what good coaches and good friends do. They give ideas, advice in a nice way, in a way that helps you to push yourself. The idea of going out on the road and to the wild just didn't occur to me. Um, but now that I'm out here, I'm like, oh, this is so much more flexible. I mean, you got so many more options for things to do and places to go and bring along your audience, bring along your friends. So. This is a nice thing, and I'm glad, I'm very grateful to whoever suggested this. You know who you are. Uh, also, one of the things I love about this pack, see on the top part here, it's, it's kind of built so that your cameras fit into this pocket, which is the part that goes against your back. Okay, there's a zipper here. I think it's on this side. Oh, it's right here. And I'm not going to unzip this at this moment. Well, I'll zip it part way. But this is where the cameras go. So when you're wearing it, the only access to the cameras is against your back, which is really nice. Good safety feature. And keeps it all in here. And so that's a really, that was just a smart engineering move. But what I love about this top part is it's expandable and it has this really nice camo print. It's kind of, you know, you can see it, right? It's subtle. It's camo, but it's black and kind of iridescent. So when you unhook this little hook right here, like this, you can see this, there we go. There's a good view of it. So when you unhook it like that, this rolls up. Obviously when it's hooked in place, everything here is secure. So whatever you put up here isn't gonna, just can't fly out, it can't open up when this is secured. So when we open this up, now you're looking into this pouch here. So what I put for today's trip is uh, starting from the top. I put swim trunks in case I decide I want to go swimming. So we've got swim trunks in there. And I brought another shirt, which is really crazy because it's so hot today. But I wanted to show that you could easily pack some clothes in this bag, and this is stuff that um, that I brought along today. So anyways, we've got shorts or swim trunks and a shirt. I brought along a thing of uh, sunscreen because sunscreen, you know. Okay, I brought along a light here. This is a practical light and it's a really nice light for shooting video and as you can see I just put it on. I like this for video shoots and I just thought I'd bring it along to show you what could fit into this case. And it doesn't, I didn't put this in with the camera stuff, this is in this top part. So anyways, that's kind of nice. I like having this along and 
It's not too bulky. It's just like a deck of cars or something. Here are some eyeglasses. I'll tell you what, since we are now in shade, I can take these glasses off. There we go. Now I can see you guys. All right. All right, we've got in here, I brought along some pecans because I did not, I did, I actually I had a little breakfast, but I thought it'd be nice to have a snack. And of course, I did not forget my buddy here. Here you go. Hey, I brought you a snack, look, hey. Here's yours. There you go. And then one other thing I have here on the top part is a little mirror. I got this for, hey look, it's you. Look at that. How meta. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's the camera and there's a microphone. That all fits in this bag, by the way. I got this because I had a headshot photo shoot the other day and it was like, I don't know, there were a bunch of people on the list and I thought someone is gonna need a mirror and if I don't have one, I lost the last one I had. So I got this little mirror and it's nice, so light. Somebody needed help tying his tie and I said, okay, you tie it and I will hold this and you can see yourself adjust your tie. Nothing like being prepared. All right, so I'm gonna show you what fits in here. I think I'm gonna do it, just keep the camera where it is because uh, Rosie's ready for her next snack. Um, because I just think this is a nice way to do it rather than hand hold the camera and move it all around, but you'll be able to see everything. So, here is what I packed today. Oh, this is cool. Now, I'm shooting with my Sony a7 IV and that particular camera, normally I just put it right here. I'm just, these are just some foam inserts that come with this bag. Let me just pull them out of here. So the camera goes here and it attaches to this lens. This is the 70 to 180 28 Tamron, which I really love. I usually shoot with this, but today I'm using a wide angle. Uh, and then I just put here, this is my this is one of my Canon cameras. It's a backup camera now that I have a Sony, but I just wanted you to see that this pack can hold a DSLR or a mirrorless camera body, a lens, this is the sun and rain cover right here. And this here, like if it were to start pouring or raining or whatever, I could just open this and put it over the bag. And also if it's super hot, if it's really sunny, there's a reflective side to this. And you can put that over the pack and it's like a big tin foil wrap. So this, this bag right here, I'm just gonna show you everything it's capable of here capable of holding a camera and a telephoto lens, another camera, and you can put like two lenses in here. I just happen to have used these two inserts up here because I didn't really have anything I needed separated and I thought, ah, well, while I'm walking, these things can um, absorb some of the movement of that lens, but really, I don't know. I, I don't seem like I particularly have a need for these dividers, but if you have a lot of different stuff, then they will be pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave those for now. What else do I put in here? Well, this is a multi-tool. It's a really cool one. Victoria Knox, I think is what it's called. You know, Swiss tool, you know what these are, right? Here, I'm... there it is. I like having these, because every now and then you need some pliers or a screwdriver or a knife or whatever. Always have it. Then there is a, this is a remote control transmitter. This fires the monolight. This fires the monolight that I use when I do headshot photography, but I just keep it in here because this is the, the bag that I use for all my shoots. Then here's an extra battery right here. This is an extra camera battery because you never know when the one that you're using, this one's down 60%, but then you need another battery and you always got one and then you see I've got some I think double A's and triple A batteries and oh yeah this is the cap to camera that I'm using now I just pop that in there so now you can see pretty much everything that fits into this bag all right everything is back in here I'm actually gonna put this little light 
this practical light. By the way, one of the cool things I just noticed, see this, these are magnets. So if you need to attach this to something, a refrigerator or a file cabinet or a bookshelf or anything that has uh, metal, iron, this will just click up and attach itself to it. These are really cool. This one's made by, I think it's called Aputure, A-P-U-T-U-R-E. -E. Again, not sponsored. Here, I'll put this right here. You can see, you can fit lots of stuff in here. You don't need to bring a lot of stuff with you on a photo shoot. I was down in Haiti and I had the great luck to work alongside James Noctway, who's a famous Time Magazine photographer. He shot many Time Magazine covers. I think he works for Magnum Photo Agency, but he's been published all around the world for many years. And he's widely regarded as the best war and combat photographer and a documenter of the human condition. He, he really takes photos, pretty powerful photos of suffering and his main message behind all of it is he wants other people to see this so that these things don't get repeated again and again through history. But what I noticed in shooting with him is that he just has a camera and a lens and it's, you know, with him and he's seeing the world. He's kind of looking at things and photographing. And you can see that he's really into recording the image, but he doesn't care a lot about the gear. In fact, at one point I asked him something about the cameras that he was using or something or other, and he seemed almost unaware of what he was shooting. I think he told me that Canon had just furnished him with this new camera and he was giving it a try. This was back in the film days, so we weren't shooting digitally, but you know, you could just see it was secondary the whole mechanics of it. He just wanted to capture these images. So that's why when I, when I look at this bag here, you know, it's very easy for me, just, it's very easy for me to look at this and say, oh, this is good, it fits all of this stuff. But when it comes down to your gear, I mean, really, I think the best photographers can get by on one camera and one or two lenses and if you know what you're doing you don't really need to have a lot of extra stuff. So in that way of thinking I think this 14L backpack is really a great example of getting by with what you need and without a lot of extra stuff. And something else this just reminds me of is before I got this 14L I ordered just by accident I ordered the 12L. I didn't know that there was a difference in these all-weather packs or these Tenba packs. This is the Tenba Fulton, but they make a 12L and I got it and I gotta say I love that pack. It was just pretty small. It was like, um, and it could have fit the camera that I'm shooting with now and a lens and a couple other things. It, it would have worked for me. The only thing is I, I use more flash equipment and uh, transmitters and receivers and I bring a lot of batteries and chargers with me and so for that particular use, uh, it wasn't gonna be ideal to have a 12L. Although for a day like today, it would be perfect. So I guess what I wanna emphasize here is, once you get good at your craft, one camera and one or two lenses are enough and almost any pack can hold that stuff. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you. There were more things that my friend who requested this video said, hey, how about chargers? So voila, as they say in France. Here's a charger. This is the charger for these Sony batteries. I showed you one of them inside the pack. So here's the charger that I use. That fits in this pack. Then I have this here, which is a really cool little uh, SD card holder. I put the dates of the cards that I shoot and I'll open this up. See, this is how I organize all of the SD cards that I do for photo shoots or video shoots. So they go in there. And then this has a really nice little uh, rubber gasket on it. And then it clicks shut. And yeah, it holds everything in there. And this is like, I think it's shockproof. I know it's waterproof. And this particular case is going to protect your SD cards and organize them. That's the big thing. I, I always forget what's on those cards. And so having them in this little case with the dates printed on them will help me later figure out where the cards are if I need to go find some footage. All right, more stuff. This is amazing. These are SanDisk Extreme 
um, what do you call them, hard drives. And this here is two terabytes. That's an insane amount of data. I mean, that's a lot of data, two terabytes. And this is literally on my finger. This is keychain size, so you could literally put this on a keychain or a carabiner and take it with you. But I love these, all of the video footage that I shoot for my YouTube channel, all the video shoot footage that I shoot for work, and all my photos gets backed up onto these. And so that fits in here. Here is a business card holder. You always want to have cards with you. I do at least when I go out on photo shoots. And so they just go in here. And then I've got my card right there. So when people say, hey, do you have a card? You can be professional and say, oh yeah, I do. So that goes in there. Oh, I also see here, I've got some extra batteries. These are the little batteries that I use for my uh, transmitter that I showed you earlier for the uh, monolight that I use to do headshot photography. So it's always good to have those things that, that could stop the show if you didn't have them. It's always good to have a few extras because when things get real and things stop working, you want to have a plan B. Keep The show must go on, isn't that what they say? So uh, one other thing I want to show you here is that I actually brought my laptop. Not that I plan on using it. We see the sun's moving here, so I have to keep moving this camera. We'll put it over here. Okay, so um, I packed my laptop. I'm not going to be using my laptop today, but I want you guys to see that this all fits in here. So this is a 13-inch Apple MacBook Pro, I guess, yeah? And it fits right in here, you know, along with the power supply and everything. And this is just in this little pouch right here. It's almost an afterthought. So you've got this, I've got the clothing and the drinks and the mirrors and the sunscreen and uh, all that stuff go in the top and then the camera stuff goes in here. And so there you go. Everything that I need for my photo shoots fits in this bag. I think it's a pretty awesome bag. This pack is just right because, you know, honestly, you decide how much stuff you want to put in it, but you don't have to load it up, and if it's not too heavy, like today, it's just kind of easy. That's the word. It's real easy. It's real flexible. Uh, by the way, I just noticed as I was walking down, that's why I stopped here. Nice lighting situation here. So I just thought I'd mention it. So as you can see, the light is on my shoulders. The sun is in the sky behind me. It's up there, and it's hitting my back but the exposure is pretty good front-wise just because there's some light that's diffused from the clouds above and the canopy of trees. And so I just, I just like this. I just thought I'd just stop here for a sec and enjoy. And I'm going to show you how this cool case, this one right here, the Tenba Fulton V2 14L all-weather backpack. See what we got in here. And we are going to start with this. Look at this giant water bottle right here on the side. Here. See this? You can see how the water just kind of beads off it. I mean, I've got a bunch of cameras and lenses in here and I have absolutely no fear. But should I? Uh, in any case, <laughs> I guess this will be a real test, right? This is wet. Um, we've got some more. There's a pocket here for a tripod. There's a strap here and I've got something to drink here as well. I'm gonna have a swig of that. Mmm. The camera stuff probably won't get wet, and it didn't. I've got a lens in there. I'm actually shooting with the camera, so the camera would be right there. But now you just see the 70 to 180 2.8 lens right there and other stuff. Um, but that's one good reason. This, if this is against your back when you're backpacking, then if it's raining out, the rain's hitting the top 
and maybe the back part, the rain's hitting like here and there, but your camera gear is over here, it's against your back. So that might be an additional reason that it would stay dry. So I showed you the camera stuff. Mainly I think what's kind of cool and I could show you here today is things that are in the top here. Now, I put a tripod. I've got my camera right now on a larger tripod, but this is a really nice travel tripod. It telescopes out like this, you can see, and it's got really cool little legs. This is made by whatever, Joby, I think. Not sponsored, but this is a really cool little tripod. You can use it also just to hold the camera out in front of you if you're vlogging. A lot of mosquitoes. Uh, so anyways, this is pretty cool. Had that in here. Some sunscreen. Always bring sunscreen. I've pretty much used sunscreen throughout my life, but it's one of those things. Good to have, good to use. I've got some cocoa butter, Palmer's cocoa butter. This stuff is the best. Moisturizes your skin. It smells good. Rosie, are you interested in this? Really good stuff. It really keeps you nice and soft and moist. If you have not tried it, treat yourself. Try it, you'll like it. What else do I got in here? Oh, I've got some uh, floss picks. If you don't have floss picks, get some floss picks. Just throw them in your bag. Actually, my favorites, I've, I happen to have some placards. These are my favorites. These have scope, so if you're a big scope fan or like that minty taste, but these are the ones I like right here, placards. I've got something here for Rosie. Hey, Rose, you know what I got here? I got some treats. Yeah, treats, uh-huh. There you go. Okay, that was the top compartment. That is this part right here. That's not even the camera bag. All right, we've already kind of established what goes in this part, but we will test to see if it got wet. And it did not get very wet, but I can see a few drops. Wait, no, that's probably just me being messy. No, that's dry, it's dry. I thought a few drops got in, but really, truly, Honestly, it did not. Oh, something else that's in here. See this right here? Sandisk card. And um, I have not opened this. It's brand new. It's in the box. There's a reason for that, okay? I'm going to have a memory card in the camera when I'm working, when I'm doing a shoot, video, photo, whatever. But sometimes you run out. At the, It will happen to you at some time in your career. You will run out of memory. And then, you know, what are you going to be doing? Deleting photos or video clips while you have a client in front of you if it's a job. So I like this. It goes in here. I know that it's new and it's ready to go. And that way you don't get stuck. You don't get stuck with nothing to write on. You know, in the back in the day, you had to be real careful to have extra rolls of film because once you blew through your film, that was it. There were no more photos being taken. So in a similar way, it's like my extra film. And um, yeah, I think that's just a great thing to do. Keep a memory card along with you and then you will never be stuck not being able to take pictures. So anyway, in this way, I don't know if I had all this stuff last time. This way you get to see this all fit in here and how easy it is. Velcro top, folds over, clip. Clips right here, done. This stuff is not leaving. Oh, proof, look. It's in there, that's there. It's not going anywhere. So this is a great pack. It's the smaller of the two. Look, whoa, it really is. Now that it's out there, you can see. It's not a heavy pack. And uh, I could throw another camera in here, but right now we've just got the lens and some food, grapefruit. And um, over there, I'll just show you. Look who's looking. Oh, she must, oh, hey there. What are you doing? Are you looking for a bunny rabbit? Where are the bunnies, Rosie? Rose, do you want to go find a bunny? 
she's watching over me. This is literally, you know, people say, I got your back. Look who's got my back. That girl. Thanks to the dude who left the comment suggesting I do an in the wild photo uh, video thing showing the Tenba bag. Uh, it was a great idea. I really got to put this bag through its paces and find out what a great bag it really is. And I also got the 16L and I am going to use that for the larger bulkier part of my photo gear. I would take it out on walks or on hikes, but I think if I had to choose between the 14L and the 16L for a hike, I would definitely do the 14L because it's everything that I need and I don't have that much stuff I need to bring with me. You saw I, I got all that, all those things together in this one little pack and I know it looks big when it's like close to the camera, but come here, Rosie, come here, come here. Here's a dog for scale, come on, here we go. See, there it is. It's about like not even as big as a doggy, right? So anyways, I'm real glad we came out to do this video because you guys got to see a little bit of Seattle, some of the wilderness here. And uh, I got to show you guys this pack better. And I got to use this Sony camera, which is shooting the video we're watching right now. And it's pretty cool. It's an amazing little camera. So I'm really glad that you guys encouraged me to do this video to try this bag out in the wild and also to bring my Sony camera out here. So many cool things about using this video camera out in nature. I know that Rosie has really enjoyed coming along while I've shot this stuff because she loves being outside and it's just been a great day. So I'm real glad that you watched this. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, share it, tell your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Right, Rosie? Where are the bunnies? Rosie's gonna go find some bunnies. And uh, we'll see some new bunnies and we'll see you guys in the next video. Where are they going? Where are we going? Rose. Oh my goodness. Rosie. Do you see what I see?